Hey, mind if we talk now? Of course. What's up? Look, I uh, needed to mention. Just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. She tried to dupe us both. Dealing with her was the right move. True, but it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of us. Hell, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Some ass named Vic ran the town for I don't know how long before that. The guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he'd use to keep people in line. Every so often, he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the populace at large. Folks with homes could lock their doors, but us drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. And we all just stood there, did nothing. That's a hard choice to make. I don't envy you. I appreciate you trying, but there's no need to sugarcoat it. It was spineless the way I acted. I felt like less than nothing. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked out completely. When I finally came to, I was on the floor of the old state house, right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock, first American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high, but those clothes spoke to me told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put him on, started a new life as Hancock. After that, I went clean for a bit, got organized, convinced Cleo to loan me some hardware, got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins, started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. The fact that you're standing here and Vic isn't would suggest things went well. Oh, yeah. So, the night of, we all got loaded. Let Vic's boys get good and hammered, and burst from the windows and rooftops where we'd been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. We didn't have to, but we sure fucking did. It was a massacre. Once we'd mopped up, we strolled right into Vic's quarters in the state house. Wrapped a rope around his neck and threw him off the balcony. And there I am, gun in hand, draped in Hancock's duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my words. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. Became Mayor Hancock of Good Neighbor that day. And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch ever again. And you're never going to have to. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. Good. I just hope you get where I was coming from. I ain't out to bring harm to anyone that didn't earn it. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. You wanna get moving? <laughs> 